Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we got another box, and yes, we got a box. Boxes are special, so we're going to do an unboxing because we got a box. What's inside? Well, let's open it up. What do we have here? Yes, another case. Not from Hobby Tiger this time, but it sure looks like the Mavic case I, I got, doesn't it? Well, after getting the Mavic case, and let me get this out of the box here a little bit and throw this on the floor. And we'll take this guy up. I was really happy with the hobby or the 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 hobby tiger case. Yeah, I got for the uh, Mavic, and I really didn't see that that particular vendor had one for the Spark. But I did see that there were obviously a common case manufacturer, and they just slapped their own name on here. So uh, I did find one actually. And let's open this up. For yes, the Spark. Now you'll notice a couple things about it. However, through the magic of video, let's do something special now. So check this out, because one of the things I had mentioned when I did the review of the um, Hobby Tiger case for the Mavic Pro is I said I'd really like something like that, but I don't want to take the landing gear off my Spark. Well, guess what? I don't have to take the landing gear off my Spark. All I did is flipped it upside down. It slides in here. I can pick it up and out. It's great. So uh, I'm very happy about that and very compact case. Now, the one thing you'll notice about this one as opposed to the Mavic Pro is we have some longer slots here. Now, I know these are for the chargers and things like that, but look at this. My uh, Galaxy phone fits in there very nicely, close up the cover, and which this one also, like the Mavic Pro or the Hobby Tiger case, has a gasket around it. Now, one of the things I put in the Mavic Pro is that it was splash proof. This is waterproof, so I'm not sure it's splash or water. I wouldn't want to dunk it. Um, probably better than being in a regular case if it did get dunked, but definitely weather and splash proof. So big thumbs up on that one, protecting my investment here. Really looks cool. Now, again, it holds, looks like it holds four separate batteries plus one on the copter, which is great. And again, I believe these are for like the uh, charging strip for the Flymore charging strip and that that go in here and power supply. Um, not sure quite what this slot will be for, but anyways, lots of room in this, um, which I think is pretty cool. So, and I can put my phone in this, which is perfect. So I'm pretty happy with this. And again, one of the things I'm liking about this case, I've used some larger cases and non-purpose built cases. But again, this case is so small and compact, and especially for flying, I think this would be real handy. So again, as I mentioned, I'm going to be taking some trips to Florida and California and that kind of stuff here, um, personally just as a vacation here in the later spring, and I want to take some of my drones along with me. Maybe I'll take two, uh, because I, I haven't really looked at what the uh, airline regulations are for the lithium batteries, but the other piece I like about it versus getting on a plane with like the uh, uh, unique case which is just huge it just screams i'm a drone you know this will actually fit right in my uh, my uh, carry-on roller bag and uh, you know again no problem now i definitely one of the things when i do go fly i'll discharge these make sure these batteries are discharged because you do not want any lithium ion charged batteries in the air uh, with me but uh, anyways I really found this to be a cool case, so hopefully you guys do. I have the link for this down below. Wasn't it was cheaper actually than the um, uh, Hobby Tiger case? So I think the Hobby Tiger was around 34, 35. This was like 30 bucks. So, but it doesn't have the fancy blue on the top. It's just got the black. But hey, that's okay with me. Keeps me uh, keeps all my kit organized and safe. I love organized. I hate looking for stuff, and that was one of the reasons too. I forgot to mention that I've kind of gone with these. So I used a non-purpose built case, and I had a bunch of little throw-in things. I'm always digging for something. I want to be able to get out there, hook this stuff up, fly, put it back in the box, go home, make videos. I don't want to have to dig around for cables and all that other stuff. And again. When I use something, it can go back in the case right where it came from as I'm flying and not get all jostled around. So I'm pretty geeked about this. Big thumbs up there. So subscribe buttons are going to be coming over there. Make sure you hit me up in the comments below what you think. And let me know, most importantly, what are you having for lunch? See you guys in the next video. Cheers.